In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter a refund or reversal from an insurance payer. Refunds, takebacks, or reversals all get entered in the same way that regular payments get entered. From the Home tab, click the Enter Payment button to open up the Payment Entry tab. This example is going to use a $0 check or EOB. It has a payment and a reversal which make it equal to $0. We will still start with entering the complete check information in the top left, including payer name, amount, date, method, and check reference number. If you don't see your data service displayed in the grid, you may need to adjust your filter settings to show zero balance claims and or expand the date range. Click the filter settings button at the bottom right to change your settings if needed. I already see the dates I need in my grid, so I can start to enter the payment and reversal. As a helpful tip, you can expand the service line to see any existing payments and adjustments. To enter the reversal, put your cursor in the amount cell of that line and enter a minus sign to indicate a negative amount. You can enter any reversed adjustments too, if needed. Enter your payment and any adjustments next until you're left with zero remaining. Click Save, and the program will confirm saving the $0 amount. Say Yes. And you're all done. Let's go look at the claim and see our reversal. I can double click to open the claim from the Quick Access grid at the lower left corner. Expand the service line to see the original payment and new reversal by clicking on the small plus sign. Check out our YouTube channel for more support videos and playlists. Thank you, and we hope you found this helpful.